J1 and Big Daddy. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, everybody? I am your main man, J1. And I'm your boy, PJ Big Zaddy. And this is the Love Line Podcast, episode two. Is this the second one, y'all? So on the Love Line, you get the chance to access whatever you want to access. Whether it's about love, whether it's about life, or whether you just want to know how we feel about some things. You know what I mean? I believe the last episode, we gave out a lot of games, and we also learned a lot. So ladies, don't be afraid to call in. Fellas, don't be afraid to call in. The lines will be open in a minute. So with that being said, you know what? Next time, we can hook one of them mics up too. Oh, that'd be perfect. Yep, we can. But yeah. But yeah, hey, in a little while, I do have the songs of the week. I got two of them from two brand new artists. I, just, I think y'all gonna like them. Cause I'm in South Carolina like in the building tonight. Yeah, man. Yeah. Y'all ready for us to open up the love line? Open up the line. I want to see them thumbs up, man. We got a hundred names. I want to see them thumbs up. Y'all ready for us to open up the love line tonight? Yeah, 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 man. Thank you, Mr. Ernest. I'm excited. Well, I hope you have your question with you because we're about to start in just a second now. Yeah. Oh, baby. What you want to ask tonight? Yeah. Just so y'all know, I'm drinking on some green tea. I mix it with a little micro energy. Because once I leave, I normally go to the gym. Yeah. Jay Lake, what's up, man? We got the homie Jay Lake in the house. Sunday Night Drive. Y'all know what it is, man. They're going to Dre or C. Hey, it's Dre. Dre or C, what's going on, sweetheart? Me and Dre or C got a record coming real soon, y'all. Y'all stay tuned. I don't want to say too much. You know what I mean? But make sure you get in your car when you listen to it because you're going to want to take a ride. Okay, okay, okay. That is Texas in the building. So right now we're going to open up the love line, y'all. If you guys would like to call the love line, the line is open. But make sure when you call, you turn whatever whatever down, turn your phone down a little bit so it won't be overly, um, overly um, static or whatever. But yeah, and the number is 769-798-3417. The number is 769-798-3417. Monroe, Louisiana in the house. Virginia in the house tonight. Come on, y'all, man. Let's get the questions. We need Let's some, get these questions popping. We need some really good questions. Let's get these questions popping, man. Hey, Miss Princess, look, call, us, call the line so people can hear what you're asking. Call the line. Oh, we got a caller. We got a caller. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hey, um, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, sweetheart. What's your name and where you from? My name is Bob O'Brien. I'm from Dallas, Texas. Dallas. I'm glad I miss y'all in Texas. My first thing was, can you send me a picture of you? Sweetheart, okay. We, we can get on that. I can. Just text the number. But I, do you have a question tonight? Oh, okay, mad. okay. She mad. She missed the show and didn't text it, which was amazing. But okay. I, I, I will send you I will send your you autograph picture, okay? Just text okay. me, all right? Thank you. All right, y'all. She calls. Um, she, she, hey, hey, we have another caller, y'all. What's your name? Where you from? Hello? Hey, uh, what's your name and where you from? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, hey y'all, check this out. When you when you call, tell me your name, tell me where you're from. Don't be shy neither, man. Cause y'all be tripping sometimes. They be scared. Like we ain't gonna answer the phone. Don't get scared. Don't it's get scared. scared. Cause you can ask whatever you want to ask. And the first call though, she called from Dallas, Texas. She was mad. She didn't make the soul, so Okay, okay. okay. So gotta call. Oh, hold on. What's your name and where you from? Hello? Hello? Yeah, what's your name and where you from? Okay. Okay, let go one. Hey, how you doing? What's your name and where you from? Hello? Hello? 
Yes, what's your name and where you from? Yeah, what's your name and where you from? Well, okay, first. We got four. Tennessee. Hey, what's your name and where you from? I keep telling y'all, listen, listen to me, bro. You cannot call and be watching us at the same time because you're going to get confused. Hey, what's your name and where you from? Okay, so, okay, Patricia from Hazelhurst. What's your question tonight, sweetheart? Hell yeah. What? <laughs> Did you just ask that question? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Her name is uh, Patricia, right? Miss Patricia. Hey, so hers. Let me tell you something. Sometimes. Oh, oh, hold on, Sarge. Hey, Patricia. We, we, we're about to answer your question on live, okay? Thank you so much for calling. All right. All right. So, um, Patricia's question was Is it okay for women to send guys nude pictures? Yes. And what part of the world is it not okay to send us a naked picture? Let me know you ready for me to answer. Well, I got one more thing to say. Okay. The woman, the anatomy of a woman is the greatest thing in this world. I don't care what size you are. Big, small, brown. I don't give a I don't care. You all are beautiful, man. What? That's good. Yes. Jay? Okay, so... The reason it is, it, it's amazing to send a guy some naked pictures is because when women go on, on out of town, most of the time you're going to be in a bikini. Most of the time, people, most women are wearing these workout clothes to where you're damn near showing everything anyway. So the reason I feel it's perfect to send whomever that guy may be that you're dating at the moment, to send him some news is because you just about showed everything else. So the element of surprise is almost gone to where the only way to make him feel special pertaining to pictures, being that we have social media, is to send him some news. You know what I mean? Because um, I believe in, in sending a swank a line, back line. But hold on, bro. I'm going to piggyback off. Let me tell you something. For a guy, that's how we know that you really, really either trust us are you really fucking Come on, sit in. I'm, I'm telling you, as a man, if we can get whoever we talking to to send us a new picture, that means you trust us fully and you actually fucking with us. All right. Hey, y'all, the, the line is back open. Just a question from Hazers. Y'all just, good. yeah, that's a pretty good question. That's, that's a good question, bro. The love line is open right now, y'all. So um, we didn't have like 50 calls while, while we was answering that question. Come on, man. Okay. Come on, man. Okay. okay. Call in, y'all. Uh, okay, from Texas. Hey, hey, what's your name and where you from? Hey, I'm Angie Jackson. I'm from Houston, Texas. Ah, hey, I, hey, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I, I am. am oh, oh, they're gonna they're gonna fuck around and read the video. Hold on one second, Miss Jackson. Sorry, hold on. Oh, um, um, what's your question? Okay, what makes a man lose a good one? Well, what makes a man? That's the question? Okay, okay. Well, we're going to answer it online, all right? All right. So, all right. So, um, Miss Miss Angie Jackson from Dallas, Texas. Her question is, what what makes a man from where now? Houston. From Houston, H-Town. Miss Miss Angie Jackson from Houston, Texas um, said, um, um, she said that, um, what makes a man leave a good woman? Well, it's it's a couple. You want to answer that, or you want me to answer? I mean, I'm a okay. I'm gonna give regular people terms. Okay. I mean, it's the old saying. What is it? The grass may look green on the other side, on the other side, but it's just green light shining on brown grass. Okay, that's 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 all I answer. So that's, um, that's really my answer. We think something is over there that's not, but by the time we realize it, I mean, it's too late. We didn't already. Uh, uh, it. I, I answer questions a lot different. Um, yeah, we do. That, that's why I love it, bro. I answer yeah. a regular way. He answered J Warren's way. Yeah. So, so I mean, come on, bro. So check it. This is how I feel. Um, first off, women, what make you feel that you're a good woman? The same way you can't put, you can't call yourself a goat. 
That is something that is given to you. That is something that is earned. So women, um, I can, first I'm going to start by confidence. First, yeah, you can believe you're beautiful. You know what I mean? But ain't nothing like somebody giving you that validation that you're beautiful. So, a lot of times women feel that they're good women. Says who? Um, so first I'm going to start with that. You know what I mean? First, you have to be validated through that man. Or, now you can be a good woman to yourself. That don't mean you're a good woman to him. You know what I mean? A lot of times y'all be feeling like that, that, that you are it. You know what I mean? I'm telling you. Well, a good woman to you then, bro. A good woman to me is somebody that is completely understanding. Period. You don't have to love all the love shit, all the trust shit. That's just setting yourself up to either stop loving me or to stop trusting me. I don't want the love and that. God love me. I don't need all this shit. What I need is understanding. Because understanding will take care of trust. Understanding will take care of love. Understanding is the key. You get what I'm saying? It's just like when you pray. If you don't understand what you're praying for, then you won't even be able to receive your blessing when it comes. Matter of fact, you won't even notice it, notice that it came. So I, I like to say understanding is the key for me to a good woman. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're going to open the lines back up. Uh, here, we go, here we go, here we go. Hey, what's your name and where you from? My name is Denise, and I am from Tupelo, Mississippi. Okay, so Denise, so Denise from Tupelo, Mississippi. Uh -huh. What's your question tonight? Well, I'm just getting in on podcast. I thought it was the answer to the question. I just heard your one. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, 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 sweetheart. So here's the thing. What, what you, we are the ones that, an, that answers the question. Um, it was a it was a lady that called in Miss Jackson out of Houston, Texas, and that was her question. So we were just answering her question for her. Okay. Yeah, but but continue to watch the podcast, and uh, you if you choose to call in again with a question, we'll show answer it for you. All right. Okay. All right. Um, the lines are still open, y'all. Lines still open. Okay, we got Tennessee in the house. Hold on, hold on. Hey, what's your name and where you from? Uh, 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 again, y'all. Uh, what's the number? Is the number is 769 798 3417. The number is actually in the description, also. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what it is. Hey, what's your name and where you from? Hey, birthday girl. Hello. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Okay, 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 Mello. We're gonna answer for the people, right? Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So, I believe we answered that question about two weeks ago. No, we did. Mello, no. Mello, okay, okay. Yes. Mello from Atlanta, Georgia, um, said, Why do men cheat? So, do you want to start off? Okay. I'll, I come to y'all in regular, as a regular dude. Like, why do men cheat? First of all, Cheating for a man isn't like it is for a woman, and I we're not talking about women. We we just women about cheat men though. It's about I'm gonna say, bro. Just listen to me. It's about the game. To, just for regular person, it's about the game. It's about the hunt. Once we get it, most of the time that's it. We just it's literally the nut. That's the only thing that happens, and you know, we so visual. Once we see it, it's like bam. You know, we try to get it. You ready for me to answer that? Yeah, bro, come on. So, man. women cheat men, though. I'm going to tell you why. When men have a moment with another woman, that's all it is. I see. He, he may not think about her again or nothing like that. When a woman steps out, it's emotions. It's either get back. It's um, she done been with that man for years and he don't wake up and tell her she's beautiful anymore. He don't tell her that she's sexy. She smells good. He may not roll over and grab her in the middle of the night sometimes. Sometimes women be setting you up for traps to see if you're still interested in them. And um, a lot of times when they're receiving that type of um, 
um, um, um, attention somewhere else, um, they, they cheat. Men don't cheat. Men do not cheat. Duval said it best. Black, especially black men, we don't cheat. You understand what I'm saying? First and foremost, if we go back, men are supposed to have, black men are supposed to have more than one, one wife. How many, how many wives the kings have? Didn't they uh, have like 20, 30? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't need that many. Me either, but you know I'm I mean? just saying that's how but many But I'm just saying if we were over there in, in Africa, you know what I mean? Uh, it would be a different conversation, but we are in the U.S. of A. Uh, big dumb dog. We got another question. Hold on, y'all. Hey, what's your name and where you from? La Quanta from Silver in Georgia? La Santa. La Santa. Okay, what's your question tonight? Um, I just wanted to ask you, what is the type of trait that as a man you would want in a woman? Okay, okay, okay. We finna answer it on live, okay? Okay. All right, she said, what is an attractive... Come on, y'all, my phone's still... Come on, y'all, my phone's still blowing up. My phone's still blowing up. She said, "What is what is, what is an attractive trait from for, of a woman? What is an attractive trait to a man of a woman?" Um, I'm gonna. You want to start off with that? Okay. No. I'm gonna tell you what's very very attractive to me to one. Um, women, women. I like to be felt on. You know what I mean? Like, I, like, 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 if we living together, and I'm just laying in the bed, feel on me, man. You know what I mean? Cause I don't be want to play with myself. You get what I'm saying? Like, just rub on me sometime, and you know what I mean? That's an attractive. Oh, that's 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 sexual. Let's start from the beginning. Um, um, consistency. If you're a woman that likes for a man to be consistent, then you should be consistent yourself. And always don't think negative first. That's one of the main things. Don't think negative first. If that nigga don't pick up his phone right then, don't think negative thought first. Think what if. I always think the what if. The what if will save your whole marriage. It will save your whole relationship. It will save so much shit, man. Man, it'll save a lot of shit. The what if. Instead of the this nigga don't. This nigga that. He may be. No, think about what if. What if it's the day the guy told to take him home? What if his phone number was dead? Or what if he was moving too damn fast and dropped it and he ended up calling you back? All type of shit. You just never know, baby. God damn, y'all motherfuckers so sensitive about that. I got to agree with that one. And, bro, look, before we take the next call, hey, the songs of the week. I'm just going to play about a minute and a half of each song. I'm going to give you the artist's name, all right? So, the first song one, of the week, y'all. Song of the week. Hold on, hold on. This is the love line. Starring your main man, J1, starring Big Zay. This is the songs of the week for the Love Line Podcast, episode two. All right, now, this, the first artist, his name is Chico Lloyd. He's from Louisiana. And hey, he, and we don't own this music neither, yeah, Facebook, so don't be following my shit. So look, y'all go listen to it, go to YouTube, type in Chico Lloyd. I'm gonna play the first one, okay? Here we go. Yes, sir. She gon' know it. It's trail ride season, y'all. Somebody said them for Larry boys. I got some fun this weekend. I like the first one. I got me a candy name. Went out. It's unsaid moments. I'm getting ready for the trail ride. I'm about to hit my buddy up to buy a gallon of that moonshine. Sipping on some moon jeans. That shiny gym and stomachs. I might hop on the dirt bike. Like his sub, 
I just believe in where you're recording at. Um, I hate to hit. I hate to hear a hit record not mixed right. I like it, bro. I told you. I hate. I hate to hear a hit record not mixed right. So I'm not saying that it's not a good record. I just told you it can be a hit. But I hate to hear a record that's not mixed right. You know what I mean? Um, but big shout out to you, my brother. Hey, look, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna mention one more thing, yo. Oh. Old image, man. Y'all go check out Fat. That dropped yeah. Father's Day. F A T. Old you image. You ain't fat. You just you what? Just Yo, that's our board player. He got his own thing. Also, go check out F A T. Fat by Old Image. We open the line back up, y'all. All right. Back hey, back what's up. your name and where you from? Hello. Yes. What's your name and where you from? Okay, Teresa Gonzalez. Uh, what's your question? Hold on, you, you're breaking up. Say that again. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to answer your question on live, all right? Okay. Um, so, Ms. Gonzalez, um, so Ms. Gonzalez said that um, if two people are in a relationship, and um, they're, they're, they're having ups and downs. How long do does it take for them to make it work? Or how long should they well, continue she, to try to yeah, make it yeah, work? Yeah, she said how long, how long. How long does it take for them to continue to try to make it work? You want to you start Yeah, I'll start. Man, let me tell you something. My mom and dad have been married for, I'm 32 years old. They've been married, going on 33 years old. I mean, 33 years. So I'm pretty sure that every day is not peachy. Every year ain't peachy. It's, I mean, it's gonna be hell. Okay, you know, it's just <laughs> it's every year is not gonna be great. Every day is not gonna be great. That's gonna be problems. But depending on how much you love that person, if you go make it work, it doesn't matter. You know, none of that matters. I'm I'm just saying, no, nothing is perfect. That's about all I can say. Okay. So, um, I believe that you have to deal with what you have dealt. Um, That's a good one too. You have to deal with what you have dealt. Um, a lot of times, you have to find that person for you. And what I mean by that is, I am a Libra for the ones who don't know. I'm an October baby, so I just a Libra also. And um, with that being said, um, I believe in balance. Um, again, like you said, nothing is perfect. You know what I mean? Nothing. Nothing is perfect. So I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna just leave it with, with, with his answer because um, you know what I mean. That was that was a good answer. Uh, I'm gonna take a few more calls, man. Then we got a performance for y'all tonight. So uh, yeah, the line is still open. Call in. I had to let you have my dad. You know, mom and dad. Now, you know, mom, you know, my dad won't fuck around with it. Oh well, I mean, okay. nothing's perfect. Okay, okay. Hey, what's your name and your, what's your name and where you from? Tanya from Tennessee. 
Tanya from Tennessee. Okay. Um, what's your question? Uh, okay, I answered that. I answered that on, on live, okay? Um, um, so she said, would I ever be coming to Clarksdale, Tennessee? Uh, I'm sure I will if somebody book me out this week. I'm sure I will. We come everywhere and book us. Uh oh How did Mello get back to? Well, she got a good one. Mello, how did you get back to, Mello? Mello, how did you get back to? What's your, what's your second question, Mello? Okay, 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 I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Okay. So, 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 Mello's, so, 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 Mello's, Mello's second question is, um, why do women cheat? Because they said that, um, um, they just said that, uh, um, uh, they asked the question on here. Why men cheat? Uh, why do women cheat? You want me to answer that first? Yeah, go ahead. Women cheat because there is an absence. Um, most of the time women cheat because of an absence. Most of the time women cheat because of they feel unappreciated. Again, all of these are absence. Um, attention is an absence. Um, unappreciated is an absence. Um, or nowadays, are we talking about women or are we talking about city girls? Because if we talking about city girls, them, them motherfuckers just outside. Yeah, they don't it is what it is, they outside. And if you're a city girl, you know what it is. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's outside. Oh, girl, you can't phone, man. Um, but yeah, if you're a city girl, you know, city girl, they just popping this shit, man. You know what I mean? Um, a nigga tipped a little bit too much on OnlyFans. Boop, invite. Um, Out of here. You know, so it all depends on if we talking about women, most women see because of the absence. If we talking about city girls, the motherfuckers just outside. Hands down. Uh, no, no disrespect to the city girls, man. No, you know, guys, you, you doing your thing. You ain't okay, got no lawyer. another call, man. Um, hey, what's your name? Where you from? Yeah. Um, hey, what's your name? Where you from? Yasmin Dallas, Texas. Okay, Yasmin Dallas, Texas. What's your question? My question is, why is it okay for y'all to be treated on me, but when women miss out with y'all, it's a problem. Okay, okay, okay. What's your name again? Yasmin. Yeah. Okay, Yasmin. Okay, I'm gonna answer your question. So Yasmin question is you wanna start off with that? Yeah. I, sure. I, I can't wait to answer that. Hey, I'm gonna I'm hear him get out the way. Men just can't dish out what we give. I'm just gonna say that. It hurt. That's like a man coming in your house. You know, I'm you know, calling the woman my house, that not property, but you get what I'm saying. But another man coming through, stepping in my property, touching my kitchen. My refrigerator, my food. God, man, I, I'm ready to shoot somebody. Okay. God, that hurt. Okay. But I, I, I don't know why men can't handle it. It's just, it's, it's just being a man. I don't know. Jay, come on. That's why it's yin and yang. Oh, um, yeah, it's yin and yang. So yeah. I'm gonna tell you how I feel about this situation. She can play if she wants to. She can play if she wants to. I'm, I'm one of the ones. I feel like this. If that man is worth you going out there to go play like that. See, here's the thing. When women go play, they go to the seesaw. Um, what I mean by that is, on the other side of that seesaw is only one person sitting in that chair. When men go play, we're on the playground. Meaning, if you wanna play, just know who you're playing with. You know what I mean? And I ain't saying most men can't handle what they dish out, but here's the thing, ladies. What happens when a man is done right? You get what I'm saying? That means that when he's dishing out love, you're supposed to give him back love. But if the nigga before him fucked up all your love, and you got your shit twisted, you see what I'm saying? Now this nigga gotta wait, wait it out when you to get over that last nigga to understand that you got a good nigga. And before, but by the time you get your act together, this nigga on the playground. I'm just saying. It's almost like, it's almost like going on the playground and um, the monkey bars are rested out. Even though he can go all the way to the end, but when he fall down, his hands are it's dusty. They rested. 
You know what I mean? Because uh, 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 damn, I got on top of this. Oh, we got another question. <laughs> uh, I don't know. That's just wrong. Hey, uh, oh, hey, what's your name? Where you from? <laughs> I don't know. That's just wrong. Hey, uh, hey, what's your name? Where you from? Oh, the line is still open. Men, some men can take it. You know what I mean? It, it just all depends on. Yeah. All I got to say is stop, stop checking for shit. Cause you go looking for something, you go find it. Hey, what's your name and where you from? Uh, hey, hey, um, turn your TV down or uh, wherever you watching the, 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 the podcast at, cause I can barely hear you. And what's your name and where you from? Okay, what's your question, Tanya? Okay, if you're with somebody, a woman, and she tells you she don't want you no more, and you don't go on, does she still want to stop her life, or does she just do what she wants to do? Ooh, that's a good question, Tanya. I like that one. Ooh, ooh, I love that one. I'm finna answer it online. We finna answer that one. Ooh, I love, I love that question right there. I love that one right there. She said, if a, if a woman is done with a man, and she's still with a man, and she's ready to move on, and he don't want to move on. Um, then what do she do? That's what she said. Yeah, that's, that's what she. So, said. here's the thing. I hope that you guys only signed a six month lease, first off. And um, his name, you know, once them six months up, y'all can move accordingly. Um, or I hope y'all haven't started a mortgage together. Um, I hope I hope y'all he haven't co-signed for your vehicle. Um, I hope, a lot of hopes, you get what I'm saying? I hope that, that it's a lot of things that come into play on why a man won't leave. Because here's the thing, ladies, y'all say that a man won't leave. That's bullshit. Because if he has no ties, you can move on. You can get a restraint order on his motherfucking ass and poof, you go do whatever you want to do. But if y'all started out and he co-signed for them vehicles, if y'all got a crib together, this, 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 so a lot of times y'all feel like, well, you know, I'm putting this nigga out. How are you gonna put the nigga out? How are you gonna put the nigga out? That's bro, that's tough because like you said, it, it's a lot of stuff coming in play with that. Especially if you've been together a while, y'all got all these assets in both your names, you know what I'm saying? It's almost cheap. Yeah. At the end of the Not day, cheaper to keep it's cheaper to keep it because after ten years, we talk about marriage, after yeah. ten years, don't she own half of everything? We ain't gonna say that too loud. Oh, oh hey. after ten years. <laughs> She hey, always, hey, hey, what's your name and where you from? Oh, hey. After 10 years, <laughs> she hey, always... Hey, what's your name and where you from? Oh, hey. Hello. Okay. Hey, what's your name and where you from? Okay, I see they just can't get right. Um, but yeah, um, ladies, hold on. And let me tell you this. Oh. And, and if a nigga built you from the ground up, you wanted that salon, he invested in that salon. You wanted to go to nurse school and you to fail that damn test so many times and he's still trying to encourage you to go do it. And once you do it and you got on your independent thing, and now you want to be a city girl, hell no. Stay your ass in the house. Stay your ass, your ass at home, shit. Oh, with you, nigga. Fuck wrong with you. You, you profit in that, no play. God damn it. I'm sorry, Lord. Uh, uh, thank you. Hey, what's your name and where you from? Okay, what's your question, Charlisa? Okay, 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 okay. Uh, we finna answer that on we finna answer that on live, okay? That is good. Um, it's why men can't express why it's hard for why it's hard to express their feelings. You wanna start that one? Yeah, I'm gonna start. Man, let me tell you something. Society wants you know, we were taught as a man, and I'm just talking about not everybody but society. As a man, we're taught that we can't cry. We can't show emotions. That's just that's just like keeping us in a box. You know what I'm saying? It was I wasn't maybe 25 or 26 to where I really started tapping into my emotions because some shit hurt my feelings. Like you know, and it wasn't just nothing anybody done. It's just some stuff I would just think about. Like, dang, that really hurt my feelings. And I almost said the first time I actually cried was about 25 or 26 because I, I I didn't know how to take it. And right, even to this day, right now, I'm still learning how to express my emotions to my girlfriend. Because, like I said, I don't. I, let me tell you, I'll be mad, bro, and I leave, and then I text her why I'm mad. Like, 
I felt like you hurt my feelings because blah, 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 blah. Instead of just saying that because I don't want to seem vulnerable. But like I said, I'm learning how to do that. Okay. So so the difference between me and Sarge is I'm the type of dude, once me and you start dating, within a week or two, you're going to see my emotions. I'm going to show them to you real quick. And 90% of the time, women, y'all think a nigga playing. So, once you don't take them serious the first time, he going to close it up. It's over. Yeah, it's done. It's over. We got one time to show you to show you us. I got one time to show you Duntrell LeWayne Sargent. That's my whole name. If you, bro, if you do some... Don't do it, cause I'm not ever gonna show my emotions again. Bro. And, and, and I, I think that's the that's the that's the biggest part because um, me I was raised by a single parent mother, and um, I know how to show emotions a lot. I had mom and dad, and I can't say my dad didn't show emotions, but when he came in the house, it was like, hey, you know, it was yeah, always yeah. I didn't see my daddy just cry. We got a Florida cop. I mean, the first time I saw him cry, I was like, what, daddy cry? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Uh, uh, hey, what's your name and where you from? I'm from Florida. What's your name? Uh, hey, what's your name and where you from? I'm from Florida. What's your name? Pie. Okay, okay. You said pie? No, tie. Oh, tie. Okay, okay. What's your question? Why is it that a man will marry who he needs at that moment, but not who he wants? Oh, 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 Ty. Ty. Hey, oh, oh, what part of, hold on, what part of Florida are you from? <laughs> Central Florida. Central Florida, we're going to get down there. They know the right question. That's like Tallahassee, I think. Shit. They Ooh. said, hey, hey, they, I thought City Girl was in Florida. They not in Florida. Oh. Oh, not in Central Florida. Okay, we're going to get an answer, all right? Ooh. Okay. She, versus what they want. Versus what they want. Um, first off, let me say this. Pressure and outside influencers. Boy, you know what to say <laughs> with the say, bro. God damn. A lot of times it's pressure and outside influences. Because most men will have people around him to them that think that that woman is the one for you. You know what I mean? So he would, he was, man, damn, bro, you need to go marry her, bro. God damn, nigga, you tripping, nigga. She be doing all this shit, man. My woman ain't doing none of this shit. And it be the homeboys you know I mean? that say it. It be yeah, the homeboys. Yeah, or your uncle or who, yeah. who, who, or you know what I'm saying? So. They can pose that way, and um, and you know what I mean. And, and, and like I say, pressure. That's the same. They go. They work hand in hand. Pressure and outside influences. Um, Miss Todd is why most men are marry that person at that moment. Um, we're gonna take two more calls, and then we're gonna give y'all performance because our time is almost up. Two more. Oh, so here we go. Hold on. Let me get you right. Oh, man, I'm trying to turn on the speaker. People keep calling. Hey, what's your, what's your name? What? Speak with you. Just keep calling. Hey, what's your, what's your name? Where you from? Hey, everyone. This is Ocean. Coming from Mississippi. Ah, what's going on? What's Miss Donna Yeah, this yeah, is Ocean. Awesome. Hey, I, I know that voice. Yeah, it's Ocean. Awesome. Oh, I'm glad you guys are back on tonight. Ah, uh, yeah. What's your question? Okay, my question is, well, actually, it's a comment. Last question. I love your song for the record. The lyrics are amazing. Thank so you. my my question is, after a breakup, what point, if any, is it okay to be petty? Okay. Uh, oh, okay. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad you. I'm glad you asked the question. Um. So I'm gonna answer it on live. Okay. Okay. Thanks. All right. All right. Breakup. Is it? Is what point after a breakup? Is it okay to be? Is petty? it okay to be petty? First off, let me say this. It's not petty after y'all broke up. It's not petty after y'all broke up. Um, it's not petty after y'all broke up. But it's gonna happen though. Well, it's just not petty after y'all broke up. You know what I mean? It's, it's just it's, you gotta think about y'all done broke up. But it, no, see that's the thing. People still be trying to claim shit after it's over with. It's over with. Y'all broke up. But it never works out like that though, bro. That's because listen, once you break up. It ain't considered petty, it's considered moving on. You get what I'm saying? There is no petty in it. You know what I mean? No, bro. No. No. No, you know what's petty? What? Petty is a nigga doing right, and he fucked up years ago, and all of a sudden you fuck up four years later, and then after he found out you want to talk about the shit that he did years ago. That's petty. Ooh. But, 
Well, but <laughs> once y'all done broke up, no, nah, man, that ain't, ain't no, nah, no, nah, hell no, nah, hell no, nah. it's over. It's over. It happens sometimes, bro. Yeah. It, it, the pettiness start usually the day after. No, I'm going to say about the week. Because the man is, we ain't feeling man, bad. Man ain't petty, bro. But, ain't, but hold on. Hold on. Let me give you a timeline. After a woman man, bad. Man ain't petty, bro. We but, ain't but hold on. Hold on. Let me give you a timeline. After a woman break up with us or we break up, we, we not sad for that next week, two weeks. We don't get sad until about the month. Now, a woman, you know, they go through their spell and then it's over with for me. Yo, check it, bro. It's over with for me. Again, y'all. Once you break up, we outside, bro. You know what I mean? We outside. That just give me a gut richer feeling. Just we outside. Man. When we break up, we outside, bro. Cause I've been there. I, hey, once I've been break there. up, we outside, bro. I've been there, petty nigga, bro. I've been there. You know, you know what I mean? You know how. Pe- well, I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. First, I hurt. first off, for me, honestly, you ain't even gonna know if I'm being petty or not. Cause whoever I start dating here, we ain't, I'm not. We not for being open. Cause I I'm not, I don't go straight to being petty, considered. Cause I don't know what the fuck she got going. I ain't finna be having her outside around my on my own like she's special. She she ain't dead. She to be special. You know what I mean? So I don't, I don't know. I, I ain't one of them. You know what I mean? That's just me, personally. You feel me? Break up with me and watch it. Watch see what happens. I'm petty. I ain't petty, y'all. I'm he sorry. ain't petty. I'm gonna be. I, I I'm gonna be petty. just a little bit petty. I ain't petty. You won't even know I got somebody else. Open there, snot bowl. Yeah, that's why you say crying. Snot I had a motherfucker head in my head like that. <laughs> <laughs> you won't never see him playing with me. She is. Uh, but hey, y'all, the, the love line is closed for the, for the night. We finna give y'all a performance. So um, y'all will catch us again next Wednesday. But right now, we, we finna give y'all. So I don't go too hard. You know how you be on the damn. Uh, yeah. On them damn. Hey, it's it's I, smooth, bro. You know how you be, man. Yeah, I'm just gonna play. Y'all wanna hear me sing a song or two tonight, y'all? If y'all don't mind, can I sing a song or two tonight for y'all? Nah, that's Alright, can I sing a song or two for y'all tonight? Huh? What you want to sing, bro? Uh, let's start off with Grown Woman first, man. Let's do Grown Woman first, and then we're gonna do put a title on it. You know what I mean? Okay. Tell them, hold on, let me get started. Hold on, y'all, we gotta get started situated. Gotta get me set up. Hey, Sarge, go go and make sure the camera can get you too. Okay. Make sure it's up high enough and we can lean it forward. You feel me? Okay. Oh, okay, hold on. Uh. Yup, yup. Lean it up some more. But right up. Yup, yup. You should be good. Yeah, we good. Alright. Hey, y'all. Uh, so we're gonna sing a song or something for y'all tonight. But give y'all an A and B selection. Yeah, give y'all an A and B selection because we are wrapping up. Oh. I got enough kids. I got to wrap up in it damn way, but. Oh. Here we go, y'all. You got the pad over there? Yeah, I got it over here. So you know you can't be too loud, bro. I'm not. All right. She had been through so much in my life. So we're right now at this very moment. I'm going to need for a grown woman, y'all. It's a love line, baby. Oh, I need a grown woman. Yes, I'm good now, that is all that I need Oh baby, if you're out there, I know you hear me now, I feel a grown woman Yes, I'm good now, that is all that I need If you're watching the home, sing a song with me Here we go, y'all They say age ain't but a number Cause some older ladies have found it's true Ooh, but I need a woman That's gonna hold me down Yeah, and I know this lady My lady, she will never mess around I need a grown woman Yes, I do now That is all that I need Oh, baby, if you're out there Yeah, cause when I get off work, 